with T Quilts and today is February 18, 2019 and I am doing a video because I went and got some fabrics. I have a lady that I purchased fabric from on Facebook. She sells $8 bags of fabrics and so I decided to show you what I got. Now last time I didn't get a whole lot of actual quilting cottons out of that bag and I wasn't going to buy any more but you all seem to like these videos so I went ahead and met with her. She did let me know that it was a lot of wool in the bags this time so Keep that in mind, and I will show you the two bags that I purchased for eight dollars. Here's one bag. Whoops! And the other bag is tearing up. But let me put that one down and show you the second bag. So let's go ahead and start with the bag that is tearing up. Okay, so I'm just going to use this bag as my trash bag. Things that I know I'm not going to keep. So we've got some African scraps. And I will be keeping all of these fabrics that I'm pitching. Got a lady in my gill. And we meet this Thursday. She loves to use these type of things for stuffing for dog beds. So I will be doing that. But right off the back, a good piece of cotton scrap that I will most definitely be keeping got some African fabric scraps I will keep those I'm actually going to be making some African scrap blocks so that will come in handy some more strings that I will be tossing into the bag this one can actually go into my string quilts have more big piece of African prints a scrap for the bag and I'm not going to show you all of the scraps for the bag, but I will show you the big pieces that I will be keeping. And then maybe I'll just show you the scrap bag afterwards. Got some kind of dress material here that's got some pleating stitches. And I will not be keeping this. Sometimes I will keep a piece of it to use as um, in a... I want to do one of those fancier crazy quilts so maybe I'll just cut just a piece off of here and then I will put it into the scrap bag so I'll just put that over there those that I need a piece of this is just a piece of Blackhawks fabric it can go in a scrap quilt more of that blue fabric a nighttime sky fabric so I definitely will be keeping that now these things here are sewn and then look like some stitches have been taken out. So I don't know what she was doing with these. They look like they could be pot holders. Got various wands here. So I don't know what these were being used for other than that. So I'm just going to toss these into except for this one because I'm going to recycle this bowling print and then I'm going to toss the rest of them into the dog bed bag here we have some different team names on some fabric so I think I will just keep that and put that into some string quilts got some more of those pot holder things again I don't know what they were for and maybe if somebody want to hand sew them up at the gill they can do that this is like some lining material I'm just going to toss it into the bag this is a piece of let's see I don't know if it's linen or not but it is a 100% cotton and maybe I will wash it and see how much it shrinks up and then maybe I will use this as a quilt backing but this is quite a few yards of fabric so this is the kind of stuff that and it's wide it looks like might be what 60 inches wide so I will definitely be washing this first to see if it what the shrinkage is 
or to let it pre-shrink and then I'll put it on the back of a quilt. So I will put this on the floor in my keep pile. <laughs> so this right here looked like it could have been a curtain of some kind. It's finished up here on the top. And, you know, it's got the ends open, so it could have been somebody's, somebody's curtain. It's got a zigzag, like it's been put on a curtain rod on this side. But guess what? I'm going to just recycle this 100% cotton fabric into my quilting fabric. Got more of those pot holder things. Got some denim scraps here. And I will keep those. I do do denim quilts and then it's nice sometime to have a piece of denim that doesn't have the jean fabric seam going down the leg. So I will keep that. This is wool and it's very fine and wool can be like felted. So I don't know if it's a rayon wool, if, it, if it's the kind that will felt. But it's worth a try. Maybe I'll try felting this one since it's a nice pretty plaid. And then also have this just solid white one. And if somebody wanted to make something with this, they could. I can't wear 100% wool because it makes me itch. But I may try to felt this and see if it will felt with hot water and soap. Some more of the red pleated fabric. I know I'm not going to need any more. I'm just going to cut one piece off the piece I already have to the side so I'm going to put that back in the bag got some scraps here I'm just tossing to the side even got some St. Louis Cardinal scraps here got more of this scrap and it's actually a timeless treasures fabric so far so I'm keeping all of that some scraps of some chevron we'll be keeping more of the pleated fabric. I'm just going to put it all to the, put the big pieces to the side. Here's a scrap of St. Louis Cardinals fabric and I'm going to keep that because I'm going to be doing some string blocks with just Cardinal fabrics. So another piece of denim here and I am ignoring this black. Let's see what is this. It could be 100% cotton and you know I've done a video on if you're not sure if something is 100% cotton to do the burn test so just te uh, Google. So just put in the YouTube search box T quilts and burn test and you will find that video. So I'll do a burn test on that later because if it is a good block I will keep it. This feels like it's a piece of cotton batting. I'm going to put that in the dog bed pile. A scrap of denim. We've got a piece of batik here, got um, starfish on it, keeping, <laughs> piece of fleece, I could use this as batting on the inside of something, I'll think about this, I'll put it in this section there to think about it later, more of that starfish fabric, I will be keeping. And some other scrappy things I'm going to put in the back, the dog bed back. Here, she's got some of this pink, but it's all been cut out into. So I'm just going to keep this one because it looks like it's the biggest piece. I'll cut these ends off, put that into the dog bed bag, and the rest of these also. All of this into the bag. This fabric here. It's 100% cotton, but it's kind of that harder style cotton. I've had some of this in a previous bag. And I'm just going to go ahead and pass this along. I've had enough of it. <laughs> some, nor, some more batiks that I'm going to be using. Very pretty one. Got ferns and floral patterns. A whole lot of more stuff going into the dog bed bag. I might put just this little piece here in a string block. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but dog bed. This is some stretchy fabric that has flamingos on it. I'm just going to put it all in there. Denim piece of fabric I will keep. Disney fabric here. A 
another piece of that put those in some string blocks got a piece of fabric that's been pre-quilted it's not a whole lot of it nothing that I could do anything with so I'm gonna put that in the bag more of that batik fabric here's some more of that black I'll put it to the side piece of that chevron in black and white now we got more scraps here I'm just gonna put all of this into the bag just scraps on top of scraps <laughs> This piece of white here, it's pretty thin, so I don't want that. I'm just gonna put that in the bag. Piece of muslin, I don't need more muslin in the bag. More of that black and white chevron. More of the pot holder things, I don't know what they are. <laughs> piece, another piece of African print I will be keeping. And scraps, more scraps. <laughs> African piece so this is why it's a good idea to go through even though these are small they're about one and a half inches by three and a half four inches but I'll definitely use anything African print based more big pieces of the African fabrics so keep that <laughs> all of this in the bag and we're almost finished with this bag this is all that we have left of this first bag. So I'll be keeping all of these prints again. Oh, that's pretty. Make nice string quilt pieces. Very nice. Anything with this tiles, I just go ahead and trash because they've been cut. And I don't want to finish them off so that they don't ravel or wash them. So all of this dog bit bag okay bag number two give you a peek inside right here just so you can see some of it and now we are going to just dump it First thing to fall out was a piece of pattern paper in the bag. <laughs> Got more of that lining fabric. Put this in the bag. Some fleece bits. Um, this right here, I just might want a piece of it off for my crazy quilt. This is a white sateen or some sort. I'll take a little piece of that for my crazy quilt. And when I say a little piece, I'm talking about a very little piece. And then this is a piece of fabric that has Jesus on it. And I will just put this into the scrap. Piece of fleece. Again, it's like that size that I'm not going to do anything with. It could be a scarf for somebody though. So I'm going to just put it in the bag. Let the next person decide if they want it or not. This fabric is a white tone on tone that's kind of fancy. It's like kind of see-through intentionally in these spots. I'm just going to take a small piece to put into a crazy quilt and then donate the rest. This is a piece of fabric and it's interesting uh i don't know what it was it could have been curtains maybe but i'm not gonna fool with that so i'm gonna put that over there another piece of fabric it's got this shiny stuff on it i'm not gonna use that either i'm not sure if it's if that's polyester and i just don't want to be bothered with that this right here is like some dress fabric to make some clothing a pleated jacket skirt or pants very nice but I'm not going to do anything with it, so I'm just going to put it into that. Another one of those curtain panels is what I think it is. Let me put this, push this into the bag. It's getting full over here. 
So I have a lot of stuff I'm not keeping. And so this looks like it was another one of those scarf things. This one has basketballs on it. And they were actually doing the hand sewing around the edge on this. But I am going to pitch that. <laughs> this is another piece of dress fabric material where they cut something out of it. So it's a lot of scraps left. I don't know what you would do with it, but I'm putting it into the dog bed bag. She can stuff to her heart's content. <laughs> I got somebody I can give this stuff to now. I'm really excited about it. Another piece of scrap. This is kind of like lining fabric again, but it's a whole lot of it here. Just yards after yards. And she did cut out of this piece up to here, going back this way. So it's still plenty of it. Just put it in the bag. More lining fabric that I'm not going to be using or keeping. Look like this is a true piece of linen. The other one didn't have this type of a linen feel, but it had the linen, um, that yellow had that linen line texture going on. But this is a true piece of linen. And more lining materials something here that is polyester some seersucker type print here i'm not interested in more of a dressier dress print here all in the bag nice piece of fabric here black and white 100 percent cotton been cut out of in a few places but still a good good chunks of it to the point where I think I'm almost yard to salvage to salvage on some parts of it so definitely keeping that this is checkered it's not seersucker I don't know it feels a little different it could have some polyester in it I'm not interested in it so I am just going to put it in the bag and what do we have left this is what we have left of what's in the bag this is another piece of that linen fill fabric in the bag. <laughs> Lining. This is a piece of black fleece. I probably could use inside of something for batting, so I'll put that to the side. Like when I make those um, little small things like, what did I have that I was I was making and I put some... I think I had given out gifts at retreat that had some fleece items in it. Now this piece of red is 100% cotton and I will keep that. All the rest of this in the bag. This piece of fabric is very interesting, kind of sparkly. I will most definitely keep that. And got some 100% cotton. It's bears. It has the word bears. Hugs, so I'll I'll keep that. I'm not in love with it, but it's 100% cotton, and I could use it in some scrap and string quilts. And that is it. So 100% cottons are all of these pieces here, right here, and then I got two pieces of flannel, and. I have normally been giving away the wool, but I'm going to try one time to see if I can felt some wool. And even if I can't do it, I'm still going to go ahead and pass it along because the next person that I wanted to give this to probably would. But I want to just see if, I, if felting wool in a washing machine will work. I've never tried that. So I'm going to do that with that. And then this yardage here of this yellow, which I'm also going to wash to put on the back of a quilt. I got so many quilts I need to quilt for charity. And then piece things that I'm taking just a piece out of is this two, three, four pieces. And I just had more of the red pieces. I'm just going to take one chunk where I can get my largest chunk. And that's it. So thank you for watching this video. I do find these scrap bags to be interesting. Sometimes I get a lot of cottons. Sometimes I get a lot of dressmaker fabric. She is not a quilter. She is a dressmaker. So I'm gambling when I do get her bags. 
but you know for eight dollars and if you all like these videos i will continue to do it so if you want me to continue to get these bags please let me know down in the comment section otherwise i will not do any more of these videos but if you like seeing what i can get in an eight dollar scrap bag then let me know thank you all so much for watching I will see you all in my next video. Please share my channel with your other quilting friends. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. See you next time.